Morning everyone. Well, today is our fourth day of mating. Um, we'll just have a look in the book and see how many we've done. So we started on the 15th, we had 11 on the 15th, and then we had 10, and then we had another 10 yesterday. So they're cycling pretty well, pretty happy about that. So, um, yeah, we better get on with it, get milking, draft out some more cows for mating, and yeah, we'll see how many we got. So the cows just grazed off the turnip paddocks yesterday, so now we just gotta give the grass a chance to die, and then um, we can start working it up. So here's our first one, first row is one on, one three one. So I just record them on a bit of cardboard and Suzanne sorts it out later on. And there's one just there, she needs painting. She was on yesterday, so we're gonna paint her. So I put a red dot on them to make it easier to spot when drafting them out. Pretty sure there's another one on just there, one or two or three. Yeah, so we've got three on here. Maybe. She might not be on. I'll draft her out and see if they ride her. There's definitely one here. One here. So this is a sign of a cow that is in season, she's actually held her milk, her, her udder is still full and nothing's coming out. So yeah, she is definitely on number 97. She just walked it by herself and I wanted her anyway because she goes into Fifi. <laughs> so I just dropped the kids off at the bus. Suzanne and Dad got it under control. They've done those ones out there. Still got these five to do. So we got 12 on total today. So that is good. That's very good. Calves from here. Did you put it in the right way? Bull calf? Yep. That's alright, yeah. 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 Oh, even better. It's not in the bull yeah. calves. That, that 
we brought her in our second season. Yeah, she's 10 years old. Yeah, so she's probably one of the last cows of the raw cows that we brought to try and increase our numbers. Yep. Been around a while. She's not our oldest, though. No, she's not the oldest. So normally we put them back with the cows, but today the cows are right down the front and this paddock needs grazing, so we're just going to put them in here. Is your car in there, Miriam? Yeah. I put the palm kernel trailer out for them this morning. Shall I top it up a bit? <laughs> no. Has it got palm kernel on it? It's palm kernel. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll open the gate for you. Oh, yeah. Okay, let me talk about them. You get them now by the back foot? That's uh, 100 grams per cow there. So don't overeat, girl. You've got to share it around. I'm doing this. Oh, tasty. Tasty. Suck, 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 suck. They're looking good. Suck, suck, suck. Come here. Come up. Suck, suck. I saw its tongue going right through the front. <laughs> oh. Just move those this way a bit and it'll be right. Mm -hmm. Suzanne, just go over that way a bit and move them this way. There you go. They're happy to see their mum, Suzanne. So we've just stopped, dropped off two loads of wood to this place. And now we're about to head through to Netherton and get another load of, another ton of urea. We're also going to go and have a look at a second hand plant um, just for upgrading our cow shed, putting something a little bit more modern in it. So, we're going to go and have a look at that. That's um, Mangataroto Road, I think, just out of Pyro towards Thames. So, this is the plant we're looking at. It's, a, it's actually 25 aside, so our cow shed's 24. So, we'd be able to put on the extra four cups. And the one thing that we want is we want the two big receiving cans and a milk lift pump in the pit. Um, and it comes, it's got all electronic pulsators, so yeah, it's got bird poo on it, but it's definitely, it's definitely what we're after. It's also got the surge wash at the other end, whatever it is, comet wash. So, um, yeah, we just got to work out a deal with the guy. Hopefully we can get it for a good price. Because this is a good way of upgrading the cow shed. It's got a, obviously got a big vacuum pump in the inside there. Yeah, I have to give him a call. Try and come up with a deal. So we just come back through uh, Waihe and it's actually rain been raining in town but it's not raining out here yet. Um, the wind's sort of going the wrong direction for it to actually get us so yeah hopefully we get some because it really could do to wash that urea I put in a couple of days ago and we're just due for a bit of rain you can see it's we're pretty dry so yeah so I've just decided what I'm going to do pretty much. I, I think I should put the urea on now and then I can do other jobs after that, so I think I'm just going to put it in the spreader and, uh, and go for it. And if it starts raining, I'll just put it back in the shed, so. The grass is starting to die off. See a bit of an orange tinge now, so there you go, another week. Better get in there and start working it up again. So I'm hoping, I hope to do it last season, but the, the, the dried up stream that runs down through the middle of that paddock, uh, needs a bit of contouring. I was hoping to do it last year, but the summer was too wet to even get in there. It didn't really dry up, so um, 
yeah, this summer, the saying it's going to be a drought, so I'm going to get in there and try and tidy that, that drain up down there. Um, yeah, but oh, that, we got rid of that bonfire, cleaned that up, so that paddock is now clean now. There used to be some old gum logs sitting there. And we've got another bonfire over there we're going to get rid of where there's that gum tree we're cutting up. So, yeah, slowly crossing a few jobs off. Oh, we're getting a nice little bit of rain right now, just a light drizzle. So, uh, perfect, absolutely perfect. So the annual is looking really good that we direct drilled. Um, here's a piece here where, where there was a lot of willow weed growing. And you can see it's doing really well. You can see the end on the ground there. Um, so I thought I could see some lines before when I was did my first round. So the annual is definitely in there. It's just um, I think once the cows graze it off next, you should see it rocket away. Um, yeah, so it's, yeah, I'm happy. I'm enjoying this rain. What's happening, girls? Are you waiting for a feed? The cows are starting to look quite good now. You get the old one that's a bit rough like that. But otherwise, um, I think they'll put on a bit of weight. There's one for tomorrow morning, 98. But yeah, I think they've put on a bit of weight, so um, there's no reason why they shouldn't be cycling well. Uh, I think that's why we're seeing some higher numbers at the moment. So the last four days have been over 10. So this paddock is starting to yellow off a bit too. And so yeah, got quite damaged through there. A little bit, bit of pugging, so... And this was actually the heifers, where the heifers carved. First time carvers. It's cooled down a bit. Now with that little bit of drizzle, you can see there's a bit of sea fog rolling in. Yeah, they're looking good. Here comes the twins, always together. Dottie, actually her coat's smoothed out. I think she looks better since she's had a... Um, a treatment. Yeah. yeah. She looks Just a lot nicer. Just too late. late it's, for, yeah, she's for rubbed her parts. hair off. Well, she will have been itching. But otherwise, this girl... Ooh. She's looking pretty good, Asia. Yeah. Someone must wipe their butt though. Yeah. And Angus. He's doing pretty good too. Angus. Oh, someone is loving that. What we have growing potatoes, yeah. rows of potatoes. Yeah. I'm sure a few more, a few more still pop their heads out, but there are potatoes there. 